Now what we're going to be moving on to is looking at the centre of mass of compound shapes. And so they might be made up of rectangles, triangles, etc. And when we are using a weighted average and we look, we've been looking at particles that have a particular mass and we've been able to uh, draw a table with one column being mass. For a lamina, the key thing here is that the mass of your lamina is proportional to its area. Okay, so what that means is that if a rectangular lamina, so if you had a rectangular lamina that uh, had a height of 3 metres and a width of 5 metres, let's say, then we could write its mass as 3 times 5 times something. So whatever the um, mass uh, per square meter actually is, and we could refer to that as k. So its mass would be 15k. So it's like saying that uh, your lamina per square meter has a mass of k kilos. So that would mean that a lamina that is 15 metres squared would have a mass of 15 times k kilos. And so that would be the mass of my lamina. And that's what I'm going to utilise in my calculations from here on out.